Hello parents, it's Miss Cherry here and I'd like to go over with you the things that your student is going to be getting in their latest packet. All right, I would like to show just very quickly, I've gone over all of this stuff with your child so hopefully they will remember what everything is for. All right, and there's a lot in here. Okay, first of all we have our um, plastic bag that's got a whiteboard marker in it, glue, the yellow crayon we use for highlighting and the red or orange crayon we use for um, underlining things. Okay, please make sure that they have the top back on their marker securely and on the uh, glue as, a, as in double insurance. I have it in this bag so if they zip it up then hopefully even if those things are loose they'll be able to, um, it will, they won't dry out. Okay, they also have new fact fact cards that should go in, in with their other fact math fact cards. Okay, put them in here. They should switch them up, um, put them all together so they can do them uh, all one after the other. Okay, they have an answer fan and later when I'm going to ask them some questions and they can tell me if the answer is A, B, C, or D and they can hold up the right answer. So that'll help out a lot when we're on Zoom. Okay, they have word cards that they should be putting back on their, uh, with their other word cards and in a lanyard so they can take the word cards that they have add these and they can even put them on the lanyard and wear them around all right they can wear them in the car they can wear them while you're making dinner they can wear them anywhere and then just flip through them constantly so that they learn their words all right it's really important that we learn all of our sight words okay there's an, a game in there and this is a math wrap game and i've showed your child how to play it there are plus one minus one and doubles. All right, so they should be able to do this and not just once, they need to do it very quickly over and over again so that they can really know their math facts. They have some letter cards for when we're going to be doing uh, some phonics and some letter and some word building. Okay, they have a bag of counters. Okay, it may be these, it may be hearts, and these are something that they should keep because we'll be using them in math. All right, so they, they need to make sure they put it back in the bag. Okay. They also have the B of their spiral notebook. You turn in the A already. They have their reading comprehension log. Please make sure that they go over their sight words every day and they read you a couple things every day. And you can just initial it. And this will come back at the end of the time. Okay, we have lots of little books. Okay, we have um, lots of little books here that we'll be reading together. We have our class pledge, which is something that I say every day, and I want everybody else to be able to say it so they can take a look at that. We have our usual ELA packet, which they should only do with me. All right, this is not something they should be doing on their own. They have their bat book, and they have their numbers, and they have any leftover work that they can be working on on their own. We also have our math pack. Same thing. We're going to be working on this together. They have a couple of hundred charts. Okay, I'll tell them when to pull it out. We'll be working on these and, and playing some games with these. It should be kind of fun. Okay, we have a rainbow friends of 10 and we'll be working on that also. There are a couple pages that are just for fun for them to color and they know how they can fold it up. Let me grab one of mine over here, sorry. Um, they know that they can color it and then they can fold it up and then it becomes another picture. It's kind of cute. So there are some of those and I told them don't do it all in one day. Okay, make this last a little bit. Do one and then wait a while and then do another one. They have this and this says COVID-19 and this they should not do anything with right now. All right, this is for a project that we're going to be doing later. I'm going to be doing with your child and you have some colored scraps of paper. This is part of this project. Your child will be asking you or everyone in your family to trace their hand. And then your child or someone can help that child uh, cut them out. All right, and that will be for this project here. We have, again, we have our zip strips. Okay, and these we will be using to go over long vowels, vowels with the silent E at the end. We have we did the book, my book of one through six already, and this is our book of seven through ten, and this is all about number bonds and okay, number bonds and how to how we make up numbers because this is very important for us to really understand numbers so that we can move on in our math. They have 
to Scholastic News Magazines. All right, this is something that I told them that they should not lose and keep the paper in it. So later, when we read it together, we'll have some questions to answer. All right, and um, that's just something that they need to keep. My suggestion to the children is, please, when you get your zippered pouch back, take everything out, put it where it belongs, put it in the red bag so you have everything, and then keep the pouch. Because just like we did before, when we're done with work, I'll ask them to put it in their pouch. And which reminds me, parents have been asking, some parents have been asking, what should they have in their pouch? Now, my philosophy is that your child is in my class, you are not. Your child should be responsible. And I know they can. As second graders, I know they can. So when we're doing lessons, and I will say, okay, now that we finish finished that, take out your pouch and put it in your pouch, which they should do at the moment that I tell them. We even have a kangaroo here to remind them to put it in their pouch and then put it aside. So by the end of the two weeks, they should have quite a few things in here if they follow the instructions every time. If they didn't, then it's not for you to worry about. It's their responsibility. So if they didn't put a lot of things in here, then when I get it back, I'll look at it and then I will have a talk with the child. Why didn't you put it in here? Is there something that can help you remember to do it? Um, this should be their responsibility. I know you have way enough to do and enough on your plates. So we were going to give them this responsibility and hopefully it will work and then it'll help them in third grade and beyond. All right. So that is, I believe, everything that they have except they also have They also have this, which is what we're going to be using as our whiteboard. We have, they already have gotten some of these math pages. Okay, these are laminated, but we want to go ahead and put them in here, all of them, and then I can tell them which one we're using. When it's like this, it's just going to be a, uh, a whiteboard. They can write on it, we can wipe it off, which is why you have a black sock in the bag. Okay, those socks have never been in, on anyone's feet. All they're used for is to wipe off the marker. All right, the last thing is your child will get a game bag, okay? In the game bag, there are lots of different games. Also, in the game bag, there are, okay, 20 of these, and these are for some games. We might use them for some math later. Every child has picked a couple of playing pieces. We have markers, we have um, uh, counters, markers, we have two die, and a spinner. I don't know if you can see that, a spinner in there. And we're going to be using these for different games. So please, and I keep reminding the children, after you play, put them back in the bag and put the bag back in the game bag. So you always know where everything is. And your child will be getting all kinds of different games from me. So after they've played the game a few times, and if they're really, and, and they're done with it, just put it aside. Maybe make a, a, a place to put them because you'll be getting more and more games all year and they can always go back and revisit them and play them. Usually it's something that we're just learning about, so the game is for practice. I'm hoping a big brother, big sister, mom, dad, uncle, grandma, someone can take the time to play the game with your child. All right? There are always different kinds of games in there. This month, I believe we, this time we have a bump game and there is an instruction uh, packet, an instruction paper that says how to play bump in case you don't know. I will also be making another video about the games and how to play them. We have talked about it in class and if your child has paid attention, hopefully they know how to play it. If not, you can look at the video. We also have some other cards and these are just for matching, okay, just another game. And again, I'll talk about that in the video. And that is, I believe, everything that we have in this two-week packet. It's a lot of stuff, I know, but I really like to keep us busy and to do a lot of different things and hands-on things because I think it's much, much better for the children to understand things when it's very hands-on. I don't want to just be talking at them with the computer. All right, so that's why we have all these things, and I have stressed to the children, put everything in the red bag. That way you know where it is. When I say get something out, you go to the red bag. So 
We'll see if that message sticks or not, but so far it's been pretty good. So we'll have these students uh, take care of their own things, all right? Please help them put it out of reach, little brother or little sister or whoever might get into it, because they can take the best care of it. But if it's somebody that is somebody else that gets into it, then I don't know what we would do. Okay, that's it. And I thank you so much for the last two weeks. Your children did very, very well. They were really good at grabbing whatever it is that we needed and get to work on it. So that will be it for now. I will see you again in two more weeks and have more things to add. Hopefully not as much stuff because some of the things that we have now we'll be reusing all year. And you just keep them. You don't return them at the end of the year. All right. So I think that's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for picking up your child supplies. And I hope I got to see your child You're practicing on a secret signal. So I get to see if they know it or not. All right. Well, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for all the help you give with your children. And together, we're going to get through this. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.